Welcome to the Magic City, the football capital of the South, Birmingham, Alabama, home to the UAB Blazers, and the fans here have been eagerly anticipating this clash. What we have in store today, a clash between a pair of AAC squads. As we'll see, the Tulsa Golden Hurricane taking on the UAB Blazers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. And the Blazers will kick it away to start. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. So Tulsa's offense takes the field. And here's the man they'll try to feed the football to no matter what the coverage looks like, Jesse. He's their best player on offense, and I like the way this coaching staff moves him around and tries to create good matchups to take advantage of, David. And that makes it so hard to defend. When a receiver lines up in the same spot every time, I can bring extra coverage. Man, use this guy all over the field as a weapon of mass destruction. And you can see why it's so tricky for a defense to have to stop these draw plays. Everything the offense is doing is telling you pass. The quarterback, the offensive line, the running backs delaying. You've taken your deep drop in coverage, and now you've got to rally and find the football and do it trying to avoid these big 300-pound bodies running at you full speed. Not an enviable task. They stop him cold, maybe gets a yard to the 34. Now that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They go to the ground. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Dropping back, it's Francis. Got him downfield. Oh, and the defense in chase mode, and they finally get him down at the 35. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. Tulsa seems to have the whole playbook working. Trying to find his man on first down. Pulls it in. It's Benjamin. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. On second down, wants to throw. Caught near the sticks. It's Presley. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Tulsa comes to the line with a first and ten. They'll try the run. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. You've got to be loving what you're seeing from your offense here on the opening drive of this game. They're in a really nice rhythm. They've got real good balance going on right now, and they've got the defense on their heels. They've moved it into scoring territory, first and 10 from the 11. They're going to ride this running back. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. Now on the option. He'll pitch it. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Ty 
tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. They'll try to run for it. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Golden Hurricane. I think what you love about that opening drive for the offense is the balance. They were able to throw the football to set themselves up into position, and then he carries it in for the TD. You got to be able to keep defenses on their heels, and they did a nice job of that on this opening drive. On to attempt the try. And the extra point is good, and it's 7 0. They marched 79 yards on the drive and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. He'll bring it out. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. So the UAB Blazers offense will take the field for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. Th these are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. Nice run there on first down. You know this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. The Blazers in the hurry up. Gonna run it. It's BB. They'll knock him down after a pickup of one to the 18. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. You've got a third and manageable, backed up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. Looking downfield, it's Zeno. Fires to the tight end. Slammed to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out, working on those critical down and distances. Third downs. And having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. Now on first and ten from the 26. The give to the tailback. Didn't get much done on that run. He'll fight his way out and maybe, maybe pick up a yard. Man, not much wiggle room for the ball carrier there. I'm not really sure what they can do to try to create some space. I know. Block better. How about the offensive lineman push some guy backwards and make some holes? They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Working that left side now. You know, the short passing game is a great go-to weapon for any offensive coordinator in the first quarter because it's reliable, obviously, but it also allows you to see how the defense is going to react and play you. So for coordinators, this can really open up the rest of your playbook for the rest of the game. Faced with a third and short from their own 32 to keep this drive alive. They'll try to get the first through the air. Quick strike complete. And he couldn't quite get to the marker, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. You would have really hoped that you would have gotten that extra yard on third down, but now on fourth, and maybe you still have to go for it. And it's interesting. Third and one, you throw the football. The more physical team usually wins. Do you feel confident enough to run the football early in the game in your own territory? Can you go get one yard with the running game? I'm always the guy that's going to roll the dice and go for it. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. The Golden Hurricane offense comes back onto the field. They'll run it. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. 
Now the play fake. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. This defense has a lot of speed, especially in the secondary, and you saw that speed. That defender got to that receiver so quick, and because of the hit, incomplete pass. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Dropping back, it's Francis. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. And how about the defense getting home with the pass rush? Playing man coverage in the back end. You need to win up front. Those guys got to get to the quarterback. Do a great job rushing the passer. I can play man when I got a pass rush like that. He's got it. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. UAB regains possession of the Blazer offense back onto the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. And the Blazers are in the hurry up. Fine play action. Getting some heat. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. This defense, they are tenacious. And they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and then it can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action attempt. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Grabs it in the middle. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks, and you come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at the 23. We'll get another look at this Tulsa offense. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead, Paul. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. After the short completion, let's see if they go back to the air. Looking downfield, it's Francis. Unloads to the wideout. Oh, and it's picked off. Threw it right into the teeth of double coverage. Not much of a chance on the return, but they'll have the ball at the 33. Timing has to be so good. You're throwing into zone defense over the middle of the field. The ball's got to come out specifically on time because these windows close really quickly. Ball there thrown a little bit late. As a result, it's an INT. has the ball back ready to send the offense out to go to work they had to punt it away on their last possession but man what great field position this time I mean this is awesome like last possession didn't go great now you're set up in an opportunity makes the catch he gets it in touchdown Blazers how about that quarterback taking the shot downfield and delivering to the wide open receiver? I love this quarterback, Reese, because he's aggressive. He wants to take shots. He's looking for every opportunity to show off that cannon and that arm talent. He showed it to all of us right there. Lining up to add another. Right down the middle. That's the kind of drive everybody loves. So see quarterback, one snap, put it in the end zone. 
after that latest answer tied things up just about set to kick it away again he'll bring it back from inside his spot he was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. the golden hurricane offense comes back onto the field snags a quick pass on the left and they pick up just a few on that completion they're trying to throw the wide receiver screen to pick up that first down, but the defense just too much speed getting to the ball carrier on that one. Kept it on the ground on first down. Let's see what they do on second. To throw, it's Francis. He's got his man. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get the ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. They're looking for an advantage to the right. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. He's going to fire deep. And it's knocked away downfield. The DB getting a hand in there. Man, that's a couple bad throws. Last possession obviously ends in an interception by this quarterback. And now you throw another one, you know, in harm's way. You got to make sure you're throwing to the open guy. Make sure you're taking care of that football. We can't have any more turnovers. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Going for it all. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Tulsa! Man, you want these guys that can take the top off a of defense. It changes the way they're going to play coverage on you, and he does it right here. Just runs by the DB. He had no chance to try to catch up with him. Makes the big play down the field. And this will change the way you play defense against this guy the rest of the game. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish it in style with a 57-yard toss for six. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Jacob. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. UAB regains possession of the Blazer offense back onto the field. They'll give it to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carrier. Yeah, great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense, and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. Looking for a man. It's Zeno. Fires to the wideout. On target over the middle. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. Off the play fake on first down to throw. A strike downfield. 
all the way down to the 25-yard line. They move the sticks. It's first down. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. The Blazers moving quickly to the line. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Gets it out quickly. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. And the Blazers have moved it inside the 20. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. Well, it was a good throw. It was a good route. But it was the hit that forced that incompletion. A manageable distance on third down as they try to convert from the 20. The aerial assault continues. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. Tackle is made after the first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. The Blazers will snap it on first and ten. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, UAB. Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the time to be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone. That was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. PAT unit on the field. And it's perfect. An 84-yard drive there. And they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. We'll get another look at this Tulsa offense. These two defenses have had their heads spinning here in the first half, and now we might even see a little more scoring with this drive. It's going back and forth. This is like two heavyweights just trading blows, David. What has this defense got to do to get a stop here? I tell you what, man, when you're giving up points like this and you've got no momentum, you've got to find somebody that can make a play to create some. And listen, if, you're, if they're scoring anyways, let's be aggressive. Let's blitz more. Let's, let's make sure we're making them feel discomfort in some way, shape, or form. Throws to the wideout. It's caught. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. Good pass protection isn't just offensive line, right? Running backs also have to be able to pick up the blitz. That running back did an outstanding job. That allowed his quarterback to just buy a little bit more time before making that throw. They had hoped to come up with explosive plays, and they used one there to set him up inside the 30, first and 10. Caught in the backfield, it's Hall. And they'll make the stop, and we are headed to the end of the first period. We're through one, and what a back-and-forth battle between these two quarterbacks as we look at the stats. They fought to a standstill in the first. Let's see who gets the edge early in the second. Dropping back, it's Francis. Finds his tight end. 
And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. Well, a nice completion there, finding the tight end. And what's so beautiful about that is while they didn't get the first, they were able to pick up enough yards now to make the third down manageable, really putting this offense in a good position. Ball is at the 20. They'll try to convert this third and short. Looking to throw for it. They're trying to get to it. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Well, on third and short and field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. They'll try to cap off this drive with a field goal. They pick the spot. It's going to be about a 37-yard attempt. And that is no good. And here in the second quarter, we remain all knotted up. UAB has the ball back, ready to send the offense out to go to work. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to throw. And the Blazers want to crank the tempo. Looking to throw on second down. Just gets rid of it before the heat. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Well, this quarterback's already taken a couple shots from the pocket, and there's another one right there that affected his accuracy on that throw. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. To the air, it's Zeno. He hurls one deep down the left side. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. Touchdown, UAB. Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. Well, I'm not sure who was closer to the receiver there, the defensive backs or us here in the booth. <laughs> that was great execution on offense. Receiver wins the route one-on-one, -on -one, shows off his speed, gets himself wide open. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that one. Nice job. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they put points up in electrifying fashion with an 82-yard toss for six. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Golden Hurricane offense comes back onto the field. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. At the 35, he's loose. And the explosiveness, the big gainer, gets it to the 49-yard line. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. Power football with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You see all this movement in football now all the stem the defensive line they're sliding right before the snap creating confusion for the offensive line then they're moving back and stunting really good job by the defense continue to move continue to stunt continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this running back. looking to throw it's francis 
Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. And sometimes you got to know when to give it up, right? As a quarterback, you feel it. You can't hold it that second too long when bad things can really happen. You could tell the clock went off and he was throwing that puppy away. Now facing a third and long from the 50-yard line. Looking to throw. They're setting up the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. You got to love that. On defense, one of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. whoop de do. you set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. UAB regains possession of the Blazer offense back onto the field. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Well, on offense, no doubt, right? You've had success. You're throwing some tutties. Why not keep throwing it? They're going to keep being aggressive. You're going to have to do a better job, though, keeping this quarterback standing up. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Maybe a three-yard pickup there, third and long coming up. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside. And, David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion. So everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of a spot. Unloads to the wideout. Finds a man in the middle. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And after that pitch and catch, he's already over 200 yards, and we're in the first half, Jesse. Man, Reese, he's dialed in right now. He's really doing a nice job seeing the field, reading coverages, and finding his open guy. To the air on first down. He's going to throw deep right side. And it falls in complete. But it could have been much, much worse as the defender was right there. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass. Locating the football, no PI, able to swat it away, pass incomplete. Line getting set on second down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Dragged down after a pickup of five out to the 35. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. The Blazers want to move quickly. Scanning the field. It's Zeno. It's complete on the right side. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. And it's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. And the Blazers are on the move. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. And this is dropped. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes you're just too open. Yeah, and he had an opportunity to make such a big play. Listen, he wasn't wide open with nobody around him, but you got to make that play. You got a little bit of space. You got to haul that in, make your quarterback look good, and make a big play for this offense. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Trying to get to him. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. When you're on defense and you get to play outside linebacker, it's about as good as it gets, right? I get to rush the passer just like this and put him on the ground. Then I get to cover in space. I get to move all over the place. Great job by the outside linebacker. The most fun position to play in college football.
This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. And this is why you don't want to get in these situations. Third and long, defense knows it's pass. They're playing pass, playing deep. QB has nowhere to go with the football, so he just throws it away. The Blazers will line up to punt it away. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. We'll get another look at this Tulsa offense. Going up top on first down. Took a shot as he threw. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. That last incompletion leaves him with second and 10 from the 23. From the gun, the running back has it. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. And a great job by the offensive line. If you're going to run the ball right up the middle, you better control the line of scrimmage. You can see the center, the guard, the tackles doing a good job getting on their guys just enough where this running back can get into space and make the big game. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Fires it incomplete. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Back to pass, it's Francis. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. And that's a really good decision by the quarterback. Don't take the sack, throw the ball away. Now listen, we can debate whether that was intentional grounding or not because he's still in the pocket. I'm not sure that that's not classified as grounding, but they didn't call it. So you know what? Nice throw away, QB. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Shoots it to the left. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. And busting big runs like this, we always talk about the running backs, but it's the big boys up front paving their lanes, those receivers gluing on those DBs that make these plays really go for big yardage. And how about those receivers? Not just the glamour of catching passes, but doing some dirty work, too. No doubt. When they get on those guys in the second level and get on those DBs, that's when you break those big, long runs. Well, the linebacker's showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. Hit a little speed bump on this drive. It's second and 12. He's looking to throw. That's caught. It's Jackson. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. So it's third and long, and this quarterback right now has got to be expecting pressure. So you want to know where your hot routes are. you got to know where your best one-on-one -on -one matchup is. But understand this. We're still in the first half. If the defense gets you, tip of the cap. You can take a sack. Punting the football at this stage of the game is okay. To the air. It's Francis. Throws to the tight end. And they can't make the play on third down. And the offense got themselves in a tough situation. Third and long, so hard to execute, especially when the field starts to shrink. But the good news is they got a field goal in their back pocket. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to get the three. This one will be a 43-yard field goal attempt from the left hash. Splits the uprights. It's good.
So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. On the move from inside his five. He only needs a sliver of daylight. And he's able to pick his way through the traffic nicely for a good return on that one before he's brought down. Off the play fake on first down. That pressure got to him and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. After the misconnection, it's second down. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. you got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that goal. Well, they come up with a huge play. They're going to be down in the red zone now. And I think, David, the mentality changes a little bit for a defense, right? Playing at this position of the field. Yeah, the field shrinks. Now it becomes a little bit easier to play. More man coverage, you know, down in that red area. But giving up the big pass play, it's always, it's a backbreaker. You, you want to make them earn it down the field, not give up these big plays. But the QB saw it right away. And really good job of executing and making the big play. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. And the Blazers will hustle to the line. To the air, it's Zeno. Fires to the wideout. He's all the way down to the two-yard line. Just spectacular execution there. I tell you, this quarterback has just been in a great rhythm all game long. With that last completion, he's now over 300 yards passing. The Blazers have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown, Blazers! And they take it in for six more points. And what a push up front by this offensive line. Everyone playing in unison, driving out of their stance, working into the second level, hats on hats, creating a lane for that running back. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team out there getting set. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The Golden Hurricane offense comes back onto the field. Here's the handoff. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. And that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. Looking for a man. It's Francis. Throws to the wideout. Oh, goes right through his hands. And he will think about that one for a while. It'll be third down. Dang, that, that's, that's unfortunate. I, I wish I could say I've never seen that before, but... I've seen Reese run routes. You know, when we go to all these different stadiums and call these games, we go on the field and do a spin session before the game. That looked just like Reese Davis. Off 
play action. Finds the tight end. And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that A, it's zone, but B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. They're bringing heat. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. Now on second down after the incompletion. He'll just keep slinging it. Pulls it in. It's Watkins. Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. you got to be versatile. i got to be able to trust you in the pass game, and i got to be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on you. Ball is at the 42-yard line, close to four-down territory. Here's third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. Catch in the middle, it's Presley. Gets it to the 46-yard line, first down for this offense. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it was a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. And here comes the offense on second down. Looking to pass. It's Francis. Fires left. Really good throw and a better catch to pick up a chunk of yardage. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route running. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots and zones. You got to get him involved. Kelser comes to the line with a first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Deep shot for the end zone. And that one falls incomplete, trying to get a chunk play on that one. Yeah, and I, I don't know what happened. He didn't look open as it is, and the QB's trying to make a play, trying to force the ball, but at least he threw it where his guy could catch it or nobody could catch it. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. From the gun. Grabbed over the middle. It's Benjamin. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. Right down the middle. He's going. They will score. Touchdown, Golden Hurricane. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. He'll try to tack on one more. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. They put together an 81-yard drive, and the capper a 19-yard toss for the touchdown. They're just about ready to kick it away. 
Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. UAB has the ball back, ready to send the offense out to go to work. That's caught. It's BB. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. And that's kind of a lot of today's running game, right? Spit the ball out quick, get it to your playmakers in space, get positive yards. It's uh, Instead of running the ball a couple yards up the middle, now you just spit it out wide. And a lot of times, if you break a few tackles, it could be even bigger. Looking deep. It's complete. A huge pickup. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. Well, it didn't take long for this guy to leave his impact in the game, guys. With that catch, this guy's already over 100 yards in the game, and we're not even done the first half. They used the chunk play to cross midfield, and they've got it first and 10 just outside the 40. Wants to throw. It's Zeno. Complete with conviction on the crosser. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. This guy is just wearing them out. Another first down already has a couple of touchdowns in the first half, David. He has been a problem for this defense. And if I'm this offense, I'm going to continue to feature him. He's winning his matchups. I'm going to find him. It's just the first half, and he's already... And he'll take this into the end zone, but hang on just a second. Flag down. Let's see what this is about. So a little too much contact through the P.I. flag. They'll decline that one, and the touchdown stands. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good. They're up 35 to 24. Quick work on that scoring drive. Just four plays. And the capper, a 19-yard toss for the touchdown. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Inside, 30 seconds to play here in the second quarter. They've got it first and 10. Lost one deep down the right side. And it's incomplete. They were looking for the huge gain on first down. Long incompletions are okay. We got to take shots. You got to make big plays in college football. I love that you're taking shots. Keep taking them. Some of those are going to come home. Some of them aren't. But when they come home, they equal big time points. The incomplete pass leaves them with second down. To the ground with the back. Boom. Good vision and determination there to find his way up to the 23. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Gentlemen, what a pleasure it's been to watch these two teams thus far there in Birmingham. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working, and I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Protective Stadium. Ready to go here in the second half, and Tulsa will kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. UAB regains possession of the Blazer offense back onto the field. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. It's a nice game, but the big theme here is they just haven't been able to get the run game going on offense. They've been very one-dimensional, and they're just not being physical enough at the point of attack. And the Blazers racing to the line in the hurry-up. Looking for space. It's Beebe. 
Yeah, it's a bit of a surge, and he's knocked down after picking up three to the 26. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. They'll try to get it through the air. And the third down pass is incomplete. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. The Blazers send out the punt unit. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He'll call for the fair catch here. We'll get another look at this Tulsa offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Back to pass. It's Francis. Using the quick game. They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first down. They pick up the first down on the drag route. Good job by the receiver knowing it was man coverage. If he's looking, he's booking. He gave his quarterback the eyes right away that says, hey, I'm not stopping. Put it out in front of me. I'm getting this first down. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Caught in the backfield. It's Watkins. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. They were able to get the ball to the running back in space, but that space just evaporated. And a great job by the defense, man. It's tough to get those guys on the ground. They're so used to being having the football as running backs and making plays and being dynamic. So usually one guy not going to get him to the ground. You want many guys swarming to the football trying to get that elusive guy on the ground. He looks that one in nicely. They make the stop, not a whole lot of ground picked up there, and they'll have work to do to get the first down. One of the most difficult things about this slot receiver is his shiftiness and his athleticism. He's very, very difficult to tackle after the catch. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. Pressure coming. Trying to get rid of it. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. Great job by the defense there. They weren't surprised by that play call there on third and short. They were expecting pass. They took everything away and forced the incompletion. Tulsa will be forced to send out the punt team. And the punt will hit at the seven, and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Looking for a crease. It's BB. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. It's an offense that takes pride in being physical. They try to get it going on the ground, but no gain on that one. Just nowhere to run. Not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carrier. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Followed that blocking and got five out to the 26. Offensive linemen love when you sneak in draws, when you sneak in screens. It holds these defensive linemen accountable. You want to rush the quarterback? You want to fly upfield every single play? We'll sneak right behind you and get some yardage. And the Blazers headed quickly to the line. Back to throw. It's Zeno. Fires to the big fella. And he's got enough for the first down. It'll be at the 35. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. 
You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. And it falls incomplete, but that could have been disastrous. A defender was right there. Well, the defender got his hand on that one, tipped it up in the air. Offense, man, they're lucky that one wasn't picked. After misfiring, it's second down. Give to the back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Lofts one high and deep. It's complete! What a beautiful throw and catch on this play, and I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. The Blazers have it in scoring position on first and goal. Wide receiver coming across in motion. They'll run it on first and goal. Touchdown, UAB! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down in this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They marched 79 yards on the drive, and they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Golden Hurricane offense comes back onto the field. Gives it to the back on the draw. Nifty run there, pick up of six out to the 25. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical, they wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense, and they're churning out positive yardage early. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. They'll go right back to him. And this one will be stopped for no gain. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast he's got an open man gets it to the 42 yard line and that's a first down yeah and he's been throwing it all over the yard and he's now over 300 yards on the day so been a successful day now 300 yards i don't know palmer 300 nowadays that's like what back in the day for you <laughs> that would have been 500 i would have won the heisman maybe it's a big <laughs> deal today in college football no doubt uh, listen He's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. And guess what? This game is far from over. Oh, he had him right down the middle, and it just squirted right through his fingers, and they miss an opportunity for a nice play on first down. After the misfire, now on second down. Handoff from the gun. Fighting off the defender. 
it's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot. He's in the hole. He's there to do his job. And he can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job. Get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back. you got to make that tackle. You can't make it easy on the offense where now they got a, a manageable situation. Just this side of midfield, the defense trying to rise up on third and short from the 49. He'll try to pick it up on the ground. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. And that is just an attitude run, running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. Tulsa seems to have the whole playbook working. On the move, it's Watkins. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. They'll try it over the left side. Down to the 30-yard line where he stopped after a gain of five, and that will be a first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. Tulsa comes to the line with a first and ten. Running back searching for a hole. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. Lost yardage on that last one. It's second and 11. Back to throw. It's Francis. A shot for the end zone. And he intercepts it. Really nice focus by this sophomore, and he jumped on his chance to make a play. That, that really wasn't his best throw. I tell you what, you got to choose when you're going to zip it in there and sometimes put some air underneath it. He chose the wrong one, put a little too much air underneath it. Defensive player makes the nice pick. UAB has the ball back, ready to send the offense out to go to work. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. And it was a nice job in play calling, too, David. Just giving the quarterback... Nothing but green ahead. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. I'll tell you, the defense is going to have to do a much better job containing these outside run plays. They better be able to funnel the football back to the middle of the field because this guy with his speed can kill you like he did on that outside run play there to the left. An explosive play to start the drive, and they'll try to keep the D on its heels. We'll give him a couple on that one, second and eight coming up. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. They'll run play action. Quickly complete. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Yeah, nice job by the defense staying glued to him. Getting him on the ground as soon as he catches the football. Knowing he's a threat, I'm not going to let this guy get out of my sights. Nice job by the D. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Back to throw, it's Zeno. Unloads to the right. It's caught downfield. Defense needs to regroup as he gets it down to the 26. Listen, the comeback route is one of the more difficult routes to throw in college football. You see zone, and they're bailing, getting out of there. Nice job by the receiver, sticking his foot in the ground, coming back to the quarterback, catching the ball. Nice pitch, nice catch. Setting up for a first and 10 from the 26. He's going to pass. Got it in the middle, it's Thomas. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. When you're a defense, you have a choice. Do you play man or do you play zone? They sat back in zone, that might change. They might change their mind and try to switch to man here shortly in the future. 
on first and 10, trying to strike from the 15. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So he gets stuffed on first down, and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to throw it now in this second play. But what are we going to see defensively? Now that they know we're throwing, might they blitz us? Do I have to leave more guys in to block? There's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaching staffs. They're working that left side. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. This is, this is just getting gross. I mean, he's close to 500 yards now just dissecting this defense. They have had no answer for that powerful arm. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. Looking to throw for it. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Got to give the defense credit on that play. Taking everything away. Forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short. And you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And the Blazers will go for it here on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Looking for the score. And they stop the fourth down pass. The defense gets off the field. They're backed up first and ten from inside their own five, and they'll try to get this drive started. Quarterback on the keeper. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good gain. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. Wants to throw on first down. Got a man. It's Presley. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. Ready to fire from the pistol. Looking for a gap. It's Watkins. Oh, it's on the ground. High ball. The offense somehow fell on it, and they'll retain possession. Man, and this is why you practice five points of pressure with the football. You cannot put the ball on the ground. It doesn't matter how many defenders are around you or how hard you get hit. You cannot turn the football over and expect to win games. Tulsa comes to the line with a first and ten. Here's a quick throw out to the left. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. Using him out of the slot, he has just been unstoppable. And I love putting dynamic athletes in the slot that I can move around, that I can put in motion, that I can, I can make him go in or out. I can put him off the ball so you can't get hands on him. And they've really featured this guy today. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Now they'll run the draw. <laughs> Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking to throw, it's Francis. Unloads to the wideout. Makes a connection. Good execution. They move the sticks, and they've got it at the 33. And Jesse just keeps piling up numbers over 350 yards for the game. And I feel like from the get-go, Reese, this guy's just been in a great rhythm all game long. He just seems like he's dialed in, and, man, he's been accurate throwing the rock. Looking to go up top on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Hall. 
And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. You're going to win this game. Let's see what they've got on second down. They try to pop a run on the draw. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Well, you love to see that from the defense, right? It's like bend, don't break. They've given up a bunch of plays on this drive, but now that they're getting down close to field goal range, you're seeing them start to stiffen up. Dude. Yeah, and plays don't matter anymore. Yards don't matter. All that matters with these defenses nowadays is points and limiting them. It's a draw, and he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. They'll try to salvage a field goal on this drive. He's going to have to get into this one a little bit from 47 yards away. Smashes it between the uprights. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. UAB regains possession of the Blazer offense back onto the field. From the gun, running back on the move. He'll be stopped just short of the 20 at the 19, give him one. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? The Blazers come to the line in the hurry up. Leaves it with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. To the air. It's Zeno. Wide open downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Defense just hasn't had an answer for this guy. He has been on point. This is about as good as I've seen him play at the quarterback position. And here in the fourth quarter with the big lead, he's still taking shots. And the Blazers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. gets to the quarterback and it's such an advantage for this defense to have an outside linebacker like that that can rush the passer because they can set the edge they can get off the ball and they're just way too fast for tight ends or for offensive tackles to get out and block them they'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15 Running back goes in motion. On second down, he'll let it fly. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. And I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows, he can run slants, he can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. They go to the draw, and he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop.
The Blazers decide to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity letter. He'll get it out to about the 20-yard line, and that's where they'll mark him down. We'll get another look at this Tulsa offense. The give to the back. Finds a little bit of space, gets three to the 22. Got three on first down at second and seven. Looking to throw, it's Francis. Fires to the right. Got his man downfield. And the explosive play, and they're on the move all the way to the 44. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. On the run, it's Watkins. Good, solid pick up there. Now they can start to smell it with a first down at the 31. I tell you what, with this kind of success on the ground, I, I think you two knuckleheads could call plays. I mean, that's how easy it is for this offense right now. They got the ground game working. It's really easy. Now you can open up for other things, but you guys could even try your hand because they're dominating right now. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Just a short pass to the tight end. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. You know, you're seeing in college football now a spread offense and tempo and air raid. We're seeing more and more 400-yard days, but I can't remember the last time I've seen one look as impressive as this guy has played today, David. He has been on fire. And it's so annoying now because all the quick, quick game is so good. And then you take shots when you get matchups. And you see tight ends now that, that move like wide receivers and running backs that move like receivers. There's so many ways that quarterbacks can hurt you now. And he showed all of it today. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. He's looking to throw. Grabbed in the middle. It's Hall. You know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. They keep attacking through the air. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. On that third down, they took a shot in the end zone, just couldn't connect. QB and receiver not on the same page, and now it's decision time if you're the head coach on fourth. So at this point, I expected them to go for it here. Instead, here comes the field goal unit. That is no good. Guys, you want every little bit you can get, and they got nothing there. 15-point game. And that's just a chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. UAB has the ball back, ready to send the offense out to go to work. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. And the Blazers want to pick up the tempo. Dropping back, it's Zeno. He's got the back in the middle. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. I just love quarterbacks that aren't greedy and that aren't always trying to throw the home run ball, right? Second down, you're in your own end of the field. The guy you want to throw to is not open. Just find the bat. He'll go do something positive with it. This guy is a weapon, and you got to find him in the passing game. 
They'll throw it on first down. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy has had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He's going to pass on second down. He got his hands on it, but couldn't hold on to it. And what a time that would have been for their first pick of the game. That play call is going to force a lot of people to scratch their heads because you've got the lead late. Why aren't you just running the ball? When you throw, you risk having interceptions like that right there. That should have been picked. Now facing a third and long. It'll be a draw. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. The Blazers will call on their punt team. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. A fair catch called for and made. The Golden Hurricane offense comes back onto the field. The give from the gun. They shut it down quickly, but he gets two out to the 18. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Looking downfield, it's Francis. It's complete to the left. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. On third down, he drops the throw. Firing to the right, complete. Really nice job to get it past the sticks. Pick up the first down at the 30. They absolutely had to have that third down to keep any glimmer of hope alive. And defensively, that's exactly what I want. Make you get the third down. The clock is your enemy. Multiple possession lead. That is right where I want this offense. Quick handoff. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. Lost to fire on second down. Got it in the middle. It's Watkins. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football. They play wide receiver basically for you. But you got to find a guy that you can throw it to. And you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, going up top. Looking for a deep man. He's got it downfield for a huge gain. Touchdown, Tulsa! What a grab and go for the score. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. And with the lead sitting at nine, they'll try to make it a one-possession game. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the score comes on a huge play in the passing game, covering 67 yards to the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. 
on the move from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. UAB regains possession of the Blazer offense back onto the field. And now that cushion is a little bit smaller, Jesse, and any mistake would get magnified. Yeah, a little bit of pressure now on this offense too, David. I think they got to go back to their playmakers and get these guys going in the game. No doubt. Find those plays, those plays you know you can run them in your sleep. You make sure you execute. Build this lead a little bit bigger. Put this thing away in the fourth quarter. And the Blazers in the hurry up. Comes out throwing on first down. He unleashes a long one. Man, that is going to haunt this quarterback. He had his receiver running a deep route. He was open, and the QB overthrew him. Man, that sucks. Couldn't make the connection on first down. Now here on second. Dropping back, it's Zeno. It's complete to the right. Nice gain of six, leaving them with third and four. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. Ball's at the 47. They're looking at a third down and short. just keep throwing it catch in the middle it's thomas they'll move the chains good execution on third down they've got it at the 41. well this guy's been a go-to guy for this offense all game long we've seen that and here on a critical third down late in the game with the lead guess who shows up with another big one that guy the blazers are marching down the field We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. And the Blazers have it with a first and ten. They'll run it to keep this clock grinding. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. I think if you're offense here, the game boils down to this one play on third down with the lead late. If you get the first down, that's ball game. There's not enough time left for the defense to get it back and go march down the field. So let's dial up our best play offensively. Let's make sure our best players are touching the football here. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Looking for a productive play on first down. And the quarterback will just drop to a knee. 